sample of 35 criminals <clears throat> convicted of a certain crime, it was determined that the mean length of sentencing was 61 months. The standard deviation of five months construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean length of the sentencing crime. So 95% confidence. Uh, one thing we gotta be careful here. So we're gonna have the mean plus or minus whatever our critical value is. So uh, T or alpha, T alpha divided by two, I, I can't remember it. And then um, standard deviation or just S divided by the square root of the number. So to find this value, I mean, normally 95 is 1.645 or yeah, right about there. So I've got my chart here, but we have 35 criminals. So degrees of freedom is N minus one. So it's 34, we have a look at 34. So up here, oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm one of my 95%. What'd I do? 2.032. All right, so it's 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 the ninety five divided by two, so um, one point nine six. Excuse me, that's for ninety percent. And then uh, we look up here at thirty four, so two point zero three two. So what we have here is the means going to be um, they have sixty one months, plus or minus two point zero three two. That's with our degrees of freedom, based off of our ninety five percent confidence. Standard deviation is five months in the equation. So times five over the square root of n, which is 35. So what do we get? For the low bounds, we get 59.2826. So if you look up here for the equation, it rounds two decimal places to 59.28. And then the upper bounds, um, we just switch that sign to a plus and we end up with 62.717. Rounded two decimal places, that's how we end up with 62.72. So anyway, that's our confidence interval. So uh, there's a 95% chance that the mean at any given sample time based off of that will fall between those two numbers. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.